Uh, good morning, here we have our uh, edition uh, test set. We already prepared the sample and as shown in the previous video. The sample is filled with water and, uh, uh, and is ready now for testing. Uh, with the consolidation uh, test set, here is a full test uh, set with the uh, frame and three different uh, 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 sets of procedures. On the set here, we have uh, three settings for the weight. We have one over ten, uh, which is in the middle. We have one over nine and one over uh, eleven. What does that mean? It's the ratio of the weight. So every kilogram we put here on the on the scale will will give. 10 kilogram uh, on the sample if the position is in the middle. And that, that can, 10 kilogram is divided on the, the area of the sample to see how much pressure we are adding to the sample. So the uh, test procedure at the beginning we don't put any weight and we just uh, we put the uh, sample in the right position. We put the arm on the, in the right position. The arm should be just about touching the sample and blocked here. Then we will fix the dive gauge of the sample arm. And with this consolidation, we have two options. We can either have the digital dive gauge or the analog dive gauge. Once the dive gauge is set and ready to go, we, uh, we put the weight. And the weight is, is still not exerting on the sample uh, because the arm here is not released. Now, there is three tests that we have to do. Uh, the weight can be either 2 kg, then 4 kg, then 8 kg, uh, or uh, 4, 8, 16. So the increment is always double. We always double the weight. Once we uh, set the sample here, before releasing any, uh, any, any weight on the sample, we have to leave the sample for uh, 24 hours in order to do the swelling. Uh, with that, there will be a swelling factor that we have to take into consideration. So we need to always uh, take the reading from the uh, dive gauge and then uh, reading again of the sample after 24 hours uh, and we record the swelling factor. Uh, once 24 hours has passed and we have set up the weight, all we have to do is to release the weight on the sample and we will see that the sample has started, the weight has started exerting a pressure, a consolidation pressure on the sample. Uh, thereafter, we will take the reading with, with obviously, we will start uh, release with the timer and we take the reading after uh, half a minute, after one minute, after five minutes, after ten minutes, after uh, uh, half an hour, one hour, etc. And we keep doing that uh, until we have 24 hours passed. Uh, after that, we uh, take the reading again and we increase the weight, uh, we double the weight and again we start the same procedure with a timer uh, to take the uh, change of the dial gauge exertion force and we again uh, take this into different increments from half a minute, one minute, five minutes, etc. And with that we will be able to draw the graph and to show the uh, behavior of the sample under uh, different weights and how the consolidation is happening. Thank you. I think this is basically, you know, brief, you know.